Hello and welcome to Get and Transform, an alternative to simple pivot table reports. My name's Jeff, and I'm glad that you're here. Let's say we've exported some data from our accounting system, and we want to summarize it. We could do this with a pivot table. And if our reporting needs were complex, I would go with a pivot table. But when our reporting needs are simple, a Get and Transform query can be a wonderful alternative to building this with a pivot table report. Let me demonstrate. First step is to go into the Get and Transform ribbon group on the Data Ribbon tab and select From Text CSV. We browse to our CSV file and click Import. Excel will now display a little preview. And if our preview looks good, we can just click Edit. That is going to launch us into the Query Editor. From here, we are going to create a series of steps that allow us to summarize uh, these values. So step one is we want to eliminate any rows or any columns where the row values are unique because then Excel won't be able to aggregate or summarize or group by those, uh, those rows. So we don't need trans ID, we don't need account ID, we don't need department ID, and we don't need date. So I'm going to hold down the control key and select each of those columns. Then I will click remove columns. Okay. Now we're just left with the account name, department name, and amount columns. At this point, I would like to view these um, by account, and I'd like each department to get their own column. Right? It's kind of a cross-tab style report. To do that, I'm going to click department name, transform, and then I'm going to pivot column. Okay, Pivot column. When I do that, Excel is going to confirm or ask which column has the values, the numbers, right? And that is our amount column. So I just click OK. And now Excel has created, basically, if you're familiar with pivot tables, a little teeny tiny little pivot table, right? Where um, account name, the accounts are in rows and the departments are in columns. Okay, we want to basically sort of cross tab this or cross foot this. So I'm going to select all of the department columns by holding down Shift and selecting the whole range. Okay, So now I need to add a new column, which is the cross foot. To do that, I just click on Add Column, Standard, Add. Now we have a brand new Sum column, which we could rename by using this gear icon. But we'll go with Sum. All right, at this point, we're in decent shape. All we need to add is a total row. We'll do that once we get back into Excel. So let's go ahead and close and load. Excel then goes to that CSV file, brings in those transactions, does the transformations, and displays the results in our results table. At this point, we need to add a total row. So from the Table Tools Design Ribbon tab, we just check the total row checkbox. Uh, Excel adds the sum to the, to the rightmost column in the range, but we can easily go through and add them to the remaining columns simply by selecting the cell in the total row and then identifying sum or whatever other aggregate function you prefer. We're going to go with sum. Okay. So at this point, we're good, right? Now I can just right click and refresh. And when I do that, Excel goes back to that folder and that name of that file and retrieves and aggregates those results. So we save, we close, we move on with our life. Life is good even next period because next period we export a new updated um, transaction listing and we use the same file name, save it to the same folder. So we're basically replacing the old file. Then we just right click and refresh and Excel will execute that sequence of steps. We don't even need to open up that query editor. Okay. How can we get this down to like no mouse clicks? No problem. All we need to do is right click Table External Data Properties. We can click this Query Properties icon and then check Refresh Data when opening the file. We click OK and OK. Next period. We don't even need to right click and refresh. Okay. We just open up this Excel file and when we open it up, Excel will automatically do this refresh for us. Okay, so when our, when our reporting needs are complex and we need the interactivity of a pivot table, we'll go with a pivot table. But 
when our reporting needs are simple like this, um, and maybe maybe someone else at our company needs to, to maintain this report, and they don't know about pivot tables. So once we set this up for them, all they literally need to do is open up this reporting workbook, and Excel will refresh and, and update the, the report. So anyway, this makes a, just a clean alternative to pivot tables when our reporting needs are simple. Hope it helps. Thanks. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University.